Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, thank you for your attention to Ukraine and our struggle for freedom. I would like to report good news right away due to the active actions of our defenders. Over 6,000 square kilometers of territory occupied by the Russian army were liberated in 12 days of September. This area is like five New York cities. Dozens of countries in the world have less land. Our warriors advanced through this area in less than two weeks, and they are not going to stop. We must bring back freedom and security to people throughout Ukraine, where Russia has brought terror and where it has destroyed normal life. And we can do it. We can do it together with our partners, with everyone who helps Ukraine. I'm grateful to all our American friends. I'm grateful for the leadership to President Biden and to the Congress, both parties who have always supported us. The story of our victories is also the story of everyone who responded to Ukraine's call and helps us. This is a story of different people from many countries. The story of politicians and public figures. This is the story of journalists and artists who help us spread the truth about this war. This is the story of volunteers and international organizations raising funds and promoting the necessary decisions to support our people. And of course, this is the story of business. Those companies that left the Russian market in order not to give a single cent to Russian terror through taxes. And those companies that have maintained cooperation with Ukraine or, or come to the Ukrainian market. Those companies that create jobs in Ukraine and development opportunities for our people. Those business visionaries who have already felt that it is with Ukrainians and in Ukraine that the most powerful prospects are opening up in the coming decades and especially in the technological sphere. You know Ukrainians well. You know how brave our people are. You know how educated they are. Ukrainian companies are traditionally among the best software developers in the world. You know very well the founders of leading companies from Ukraine and the unicorns created by Ukrainians. Ukraine is the state that has made digitalization of public services one of its priorities. And we will be among the first in the world to come to the point where almost all communication between a person and the state will take place without of officials. All state services will be digitized. Ukraine is one of the most profitable legal and tax regimes in Europe and the world for IT companies, DSCD. These are conditions that IT specialists from dozens of countries can only dream about. We have already created such conditions. More than 300 IT companies work under such conditions and 240 of them joined DSCT after the beginning of the full-scale war. And Ukraine is the biggest economic project of post-war reconstruction in our lifetime. This project will be larger than even the Marshall Plan for Europe after World War II. We will make one of our main bets on the technological sector. Ukraine has everything to become a powerful IT hub and enter the top five European countries in terms of the number of startups per capita. Despite the full-scale war with Russia, which has become the largest source of terror in the world, we ensure the stability of our state and social institutions. Ukrainian technological companies continue to work. Even under such war conditions, Ukraine remains a country of the 21st century. And no matter where Russia directs its missiles, we will not descend to Russian savagery, originating from the Middle Ages. I urge those of you who have not yet chosen Ukraine to make that choice. 
It's a choice in favor of freedom. It's a choice in favor of the winner. It's a choice in favor of opportunities for the development of your companies and funds. You may ask how you can get involved. My answer is invest. Invest in Ukrainian companies and startups. Invite Ukrainians to work in your companies. Create joint projects with Ukrainians. Support funds that help Ukrainian talents. Ask those who already work with our people. And you will hear that Ukrainians are really worth paying attention to. I invite you to become winners with us. Slava Ukraine!